to share some tips on uh, keeping you physically fit and healthy and mentally fit also throughout the holiday celebrations. And welcome back. Our next guest, we have tips on helping seniors this holiday season. We welcome Yael Reich, and she's a diabetes educator of the Visiting Nurse Services of New York, and Alicia Schwartz, care coordinator of Visiting Nurse Services of New York. And, uh, well, they have the Choice Health Plans, right? Yes. They're part of the Choice Health Plans. Yes. Um, you've been here before, yes, you know, stranger to the show, no. and uh, we've been talking about the visiting nurse service. Why don't you give us a little background on the visiting nurse services of New York? I mean, I know a little bit about it because it's in the family now. Well, it's uh, actually they're going to celebrate the 125th year anniversary um, with um, it's it's a service where we provide um, home care services mm -hmm. to the individuals in the home. And we have different departments. There's hospice, there's home care, there's the Choice Health Plan, which is what I work for. There's yeah. maternity, MNP. So we have everything. And today we're talking about diabetes. Mm -hmm. um, yes. What are some of the ways caregivers can help homebound loved ones with the diabetes and other chronic health conditions uh, stay on track uh, throughout the holiday season? Well, the people are eating all kinds of things. That's right, season. and the holiday season is a really great opportunity for family to, uh, when they visit their, their loved one, to really look at the house and look at the patient and help them go through these um, times and, and understand what are the issues that the, the patient uh, deal with. A lot of time, relatives come from far away and they didn't see their parents for three or four months or six mm -hmm. months and they notice the difference. In terms of uh, diabetes and chronic disease, uh, people uh, often don't take the medication as often as yeah. they need to. And not eating the way they're supposed to. And they're not uh, under those it, conditions. Right. Well, we at the Visiting Nurse Service of New York, we are very, very careful not mm -hmm. to be the food police. We don't want to come <laughs> into the patient's home and tell them what not to eat. You, you, we want you, you don't go in and look into the refrigerator? We and do. See what they do. You do. We do. Yeah. But we do that because we do it as part of our assessment yeah. as a visiting nurse to see what the patient has and what, how we can encourage them to eat the right things. Yeah. And during the holidays, it's very difficult because we go to all of these parties and all of these uh, events and we eat much more than we usually do. Yeah. Are there some way, what do you tell them uh, about eating under the condition, the, ge the dis degenerative disease, uh, diabetes. How do they eat? What do they? What do you tell I'm them? I'm going to let her go with that because I want to. I want to go through another focus with a family visit. Oh, you let me know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do we tell them to eat? We uh, one of the things we have here is uh, a, a healthy food guide uh, that we rely on the U.S. Department of Agriculture. But what we tell them is to concentrate on fresh fruits and, fresh vegetables. Fruits and vegetables. We concentrate on um, really being accountable to what you're eating. So if you, you're not just snacking all the time, you're not drinking um, soda all the time, but we don't like to use the word don't. We like to be positive and talk about what to do rather than what not to do. Yeah. And, uh, and one of the things that we tell people is to increase their physical activity if they can during this time. And that helps out with type 2 diabetes because the body can still produce some insulin. That's right. But Most type 1, you're insulin deficient and it doesn't work anymore. So you did you have your to homework. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For most people with type uh, 1 diabetes, uh, it's a, uh, an autoimmune disease. They get it as the, uh, when they're very young. Yes. Luckily today they have insulin insulin pans and insulin pumps and different way to deliver insulin. So you can shoot yeah. this right through the stomach, right? You can, right through yes, the material and yes, everything? Yes, yes. You can now uh, actually, yes, this is uh, an insulin pen that we uh, teach our patient how to use. Uh -huh. We encourage people to monitor the diabetes uh, using a glucose meter. All insurances pay for a glucose meter. Mm -hmm. And a patient during the holiday, when they eat more, they should monitor more so they know where they are, how much do sh they should eat according to their uh, blood glucose and yeah. also how much insulin to inject. And they're lucky to have you guys to help monitor the whole situation, the visiting nurse services of New York. Yeah. Give them a big round of applause, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Now, can talk about, uh, yeah. One of the things that I want to talk about is about family when they come to see. Just like Yale said, they come in six months, three months, four months that they haven't seen their family member. Yes. And this is the time for you to do the check. 
And when I mean check is check the home. Open up that refrigerator. Make sure there's food there. Uh -huh. Make sure that the food is not spoiling there. Open up the cabinets as well. Make sure there's food. You have people that are very... Um, that they don't have a lot of means and they may have cat food, but there's no cat. This is what they're eating. They yeah, may be yeah. eating. So these are the things that you oh, have to do. Of, a lot of stories of people eating cat food. Look at their home. Yeah. Make sure it's clean. Make sure it's clutter free, that there are walkways they can walk. Look at their equipment. Do they have equipment that are working well? Are they sturdy? Look at the bathroom. Do they have a bath mat? Do mm -hmm. they have um, rails in the bathrooms with grab bars that they can hold on to? In addition, Check if there are rugs in the homes that they don't trip, that they don't fall. Oh, yeah. So those are the things that we have to mm -hmm. pay attention. Are they, you know, because you may call your family member and they're talking to you and they feel like they're okay. But when you're in the home, you might see they're more forgetful. And in the evenings, they're even more forgetful. Maybe there's some signs of dementia. These are the things you have yeah, to look at. Yeah. Look at the medications. How long have they been there? When was the last time they took their medication? Look at those bottles. Did they get them from the pharmacy in 2015 or six months ago? Yeah. That may mean they're not taking them. This is the time not that you do those more than checks. It's supposed to. Yes. Yeah, uh, you know. Because if it's a 30-day supply, that should be finished in 30 days. If it's three months ago, that means they're not taking them. Yeah, so this is your stuff. time to look at that person yeah. and see if there's something going on that you may need to take them to the doctor. Why is the holiday time a better time to, to assess all of this? It's not that it's a better time, but these, are the, these people live alone. And these are the times mostly families come. They come on Thanksgiving. They come on Christmas. Yeah. So these are the times that you have that opportunity. It's you should coming. always do it. But mm -hmm. this is the most time that people see their family members. All right. Um, how do you know that you need additional steps to provide care to uh, well, our seniors? Yeah, well, one of the things that you, you can do is when you uh, see your mother after three months, uh, you come from California and your mother is in the Bronx and you go into her apartment, you do what Alicia is saying in terms of really looking at the environment, but you also look at the person itself. You ask them to take their socks off and look at their toenails. Have they, ha, have they gone to the podiatrist in the last three months? Yeah. And, and uh, you look at their hair. Are they, did they go to the hairdresser lately or, or they didn't? You, during the holiday is a very good opportunity when you are in the patient home to actually do the visits with your mother or with your father mm -hmm. and uh, encourage them to go to the doctor. If they need more help, if you see the dementia, uh, like he said, in you know, they're not taking medication, then you can ask the doctor to refer them to a visit in yeah. their service. Where can we go for more information? Well, <clears throat> you can call the Choice Health Plan. One of the um, mm -hmm. visiting nurse service Choice Health Plan is 888-401-6582. That's the mm -hmm. contact for long-term services. Or if you want a, a, a visiting nurse to come to your home on a weekly basis or, or more often if needed, you can call 866-632-2557. Uh, and vnsny.org. Thank you guys so much. Give them a big round of applause. We thank you for all the love that you give to our seniors. Thank you. Thank right. you. Sit thank tight you so for much. one second because I have to talk to you, but give them another big hand. Yael Wright, RN, certified diabetes educator, visiting nurse service in New York, and Alicia Schwartz, who's no stranger to the show, RN care coordinator, VNSNY Choice Health Plans. All right, we have to take a quick break, but we'll be right back, I promise. Next. Thank you.